Hi students, welcome back. Today's topic is characteristics of sound and then music and noise. So let's get started. Before studying characteristics of sound, let's revise the characteristics of sound wave. The characteristics of sound wave are amplitude, wavelength, time period, frequency. What are they? Amplitude is the maximum displacement of the particle of a medium on either side of its mean position is called amplitude. The time taken by the particle of a medium to complete its one vibration is called the time period of the wave. The number of vibration made by the particle of a medium in one second is called the frequency of the wave. The distance travelled by the wave in one time period of vibration of the particle of medium is called the wavelength. The distance travelled by the wave in one second is called wave velocity. So these are the characteristics of sound wave. So now coming to the characteristics of sound. Two sounds can be distinguished from one another by the following three different characteristics. The three different characteristics are loudness, pitch, quality or timbre. So let's see what is loudness and pitch and quality in detail. Loudness is a measurement of sound perceived by the human ear. Loudness may depend on several qualities of the sound such as amplitude, frequency, duration. It is a property by virtue of which a loud sound can be distinguished from a faint one. Loudness of a sound mainly depends on amplitude of a wave. Now what is intensity? Sound intensity is the amount of energy carried by sound per unit time through a unit area of a selected surface. So its unit is as it's the amount of energy passing per second normally through unit area at that point. Intensity is energy by time. What is energy by time? It's power. So power by area. Power is measured in watt. Area is measured in meter square. So intensity's unit is watt by meter square. Now factors affecting the loudness of sound. The loudness of sound heard at a place depends upon the following five factors. When a body vibrates with greater amplitude, it sends forth a greater amount of energy and hence the energy received by the eardrum is large so the sound appears louder. So loudness is proportional to the square of amplitude. Second, loudness varies inversely as the square of the distance. If the listener is close to the source of sound, he hears it quite louder. But if he is far away, the sound becomes feeble. If he moves further away from the source, a stage may reach when the sound becomes inaudible. Thus, closer the source, louder is the sound. Loudness depends on the surface area of the vibrating body. A large vibrating area sends forth a greater amount of energy. Hence, larger the surface area of the vibrating body, louder is the sound heard. Now, fourth, Loudness depends on the density of the medium. More the density of the medium, more is the loudness. Now, loudness also depends upon the presence of resonant bodies. If there is any resonant body is nearby, then the loudness increases. So, now what is the relationship between loudness and intensity as well as what is the difference between loudness and intensity? First, loudness is a subjective in nature. Intensity is objective in nature. Why it is said so? Let's see. The loudness of a sound depends upon the intensity. That is the energy conveyed by the sound wave near the eardrum of the listener. Second, the loudness depends upon the sensitivity of the ears of listener. So loudness depends upon two qualities. There is one is sensitivity and second one is intensity. The loudness of a sound of a given intensity may differ from listener to listener. The sound of same intensity may appear to be of different loudness to different persons. Further, two sounds of same intensity but different frequency may differ in loudness even to the same person. 
because the sensitivity of ears is different for different frequencies. For normal ears, the sensitivity is maximum at frequency 1 kilohertz. Thus, for a sound wave, loudness is a subjective quantity while intensity being measurable is an objective quantity. Loudness is not completely physical quantity. Intensity is a physical quantity. Loudness depends upon the sensitivity of the ear. Intensity does not depend upon the sensitivity of ear. Unit of measurement for loudness is decibel and for intensity is watts per square meter. Then what is the relationship between these two? It's like loudness is equal to k log i where k is a constant of proportionality and i is the intensity of the sound. Now what is pitch? Pitch is that characteristics of sound by which an acute or shrill note can be distinguished from a grave or flat note. Pitch of a note depends upon its frequency. Two notes sounded on same instrument with same amplitude will differ in pitch when the vibrations are of different frequency. Is pitch same as frequency? No, they are different. How they are different? Let's see. Pitch is not the same as frequency. The pitch refers to the sensation as perceived by the listener. It may be different for a sound of particular frequency to different listeners. On the other hand, frequency is a measurable quantity. It depends upon the source which produces the sound. It has a definite value for a given sound and it has nothing to do with the listener. So frequency is an objective quantity. Now what's quality or timbre? Quality or timbre of a sound is that characteristic which distinguishes two sounds of the same loudness and same pitch but emitted by two different instruments. The quality of a musical sound depends upon the waveform. The quality of musical sound depends upon the number of subsidiary notes and the relative amplitude present along the principal note. See this is a pure note as you can see. This is a mixed waveform is a mixed one right. Timber depends on the number of subsidiary notes and the relative amplitude present along with the principal note. So quality depends upon the waveform. Different instruments emit different subsidiary note. A note played on a piano has a large number of subsidiary notes while the same note when played on a flute contains only a few subsidiary notes. This is about quality and how it is related to waveform. So from this we see that loudness depends upon the amplitude. More amplitude, more loudness. Pitch depends upon the frequency. And quality or timbre depends upon the waveform. Now what's music and what's noise? All sounds which produce the sensation of hearing can be roughly divided into two categories. One is music, another one is noise. The distinction between a music and noise is not very sharp. It is also subjective. Why? For example, pop song is music for the young generation. Why it may be noise for the old generations? So let's see what are the difference between music and noise. First, music is a pleasant, smooth and agreeable to ear. Noise is harsh, discordant and displeasing to the ear. Music is produced by vibrations which are periodic. Noise by irregular succession of disturbances. In music, all the component waves are similar without any change in the wavelength or amplitude. In noise, the component wave changes their character suddenly and they are of short duration. The music is sound level is usually low, below 30 decibel. For noise, the sound level is high, that is above 120 decibel. So this is all about characteristics of sound and music and noise. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like my video, Please subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up.